Hello everyone. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. As you know, my channel is for ICSE physics. And here you are getting different concept of physics related to high school level of ICSE. To get more videos of physics, which will be helpful for you, you have to subscribe my channel. Click on the like uh, button if you feel it is helpful for you and click the bell icon to get the further notification. Keep your comments in the comment section. So today I have took one topic which is the most important topic of physics you can say. The basic of this topic, of this concept we are going to read in this part. Uh, this video specially for the students who are first time reading about electricity or just uh, class 7 and 8. So here we will discuss about a topic which is electricity. So let us start our topic electricity. The most important energy in modern world is electric energy. Electric energy is that energy we are, we are using in 24 hours. Electric energy can change to any form of energy. Electric energy is changing into sound energy in loudspeaker. Electric energy is changing into heat energy in electric iron. Electric energy is changing into wind energy in case of fan. But electric energy is changing into light energy in case of bulb. Electric energy or electricity is the most important part of our life in modern world. So electric energy we are going to read here or about electricity we are going to read part. The basic of electric city or electric energy is the charge. First thing to know what is this charge actually mean. Charge is the property of any subatomic particle. Subatomic particle means the particle which is present inside the atom, proton, electron and neutron from the two part proton and electron experience certain force when they place in an electromagnetic field. Electromagnetic field means either we will place two electrodes positive and negative or we will place magnet which is south pole and north pole will get certain force of attraction and repulsion. So that subatomic particle property or that subatomic particles are called electric charge. Electric charge having the unit coulomb and electric charge experience a force of attraction and repulsion or attractive force and repulsive force due to their electric charge that is called electrostatic force and in charge it will come like charge repel each other and unlike charge attract each other means if both the charge are same they will repel when the both the charge are different they will attract means there are two type of charge so whenever you will take a neutral atom or neutral substance it is having positive charge or it is having both the charge number same but when there is an imbalance of this charge, then it will come to electricity. So when we come to the types of charge now, in types of charge, it is having two types. One is positive charge, one is negative charge. Means positive charge always move towards negative electrode and negative charge always move towards the positive electrode because of the force of attraction and positive, positive and negative, negative repel each other due to the force of repulsion. That is electrostatic force. Whenever this charge particle, when two substances will rub with each other, one will get the positive charge and other will get the negative charge. But when it will come to the elements, the element which lose the electron, positive charge, which gain the electron, negative charge. Whenever this charge will able to flow with the help of a conducting wires, that is called current electricity, but whenever the charge is stationary, the charge is rest, the charge is not able to flow, that what you can say is static electricity. So two type of electricity will get, one case charge will flow, that is current electricity, that charge is not able to flow, only will experience the charge, that what you can say is static electricity. So in my video, I am going to discuss about current electricity where the charge is flow. So when we we'll come to the current term, what is this current term? Most of the time we have observed the experience the electric shock. Where this shock will get this current actually whenever charge will flow with the help of a connecting wire from one part to another the number of charge flowing per second for unit time 
is called the current. So current is the rate of flow of charge. Charge having the symbol Q and time having the symbol T. So we will get a current I equal to Q by T. This is the mathematical expression for current. I equal to Q by T. And this current having the SI unit ampere which is coulomb per second or ampere. Coulomb SI unit of charge time having the SI unit second. So coulomb per second or ampere is the SI unit for current. People come to one ampere. One ampere is equal to one coulomb by one second and by using this relation we can define the one ampere of current. So one ampere of current can be defined as the amount of current flowing when one coulomb of charge flowing through a conductor for one second the amount of current flowing through it is called one ampere. So one ampere is the current when one coulomb of charge flows through the conductor in one second and this one measure by one uh, device in an electric circuit that is emitter. What is the electric circuit? I use one term here circuit. Circuit is a closed path through which current will flow from the source to the appliance. Source depending upon the source again this current divided into two parts. One is called DC, one is called AC. Alternating current and direct current. Direct current will get from inverter or batteries and alternating current will get from the main supply. Alternating current time voltage increase or decrease but in case of direct current there is no alternation of voltage or here voltage always remain constant. So this current flows from one part to another or one or terminal to another or one body to another due to two region. One is called potential difference. Second is called resistance. So let us discuss about these two terms potential difference and resistance. We will come to the term potential difference and resistance. First let us come to the term potential difference. Whenever charged particle move from one part to another they will do certain amount of work. So this work done by the charge is called potential. So here the term is potential difference. If the charge is coming from source or infinite point or from a given point or from a larger distance to first point it will do certain amount of work. When the charge will come from the same source to second point it will do another amount of charge. So the difference of charge between these two points is called potential difference. So the potential difference between any two points is the work done of charge between these two points. So whenever you will get any battery it is written 1.2 volt, 2.5 volt, 220 volt, 25 volt, 13 volt, the 13 V, 1.2 V that is volt. So that is the potential difference of or the voltage of that particular battery or cell. So cell is or what you can say the cell or battery which convert chemical energy to electrical energy. So this one having the mathematical expression work done by charge. So B potential difference equal to W by Q but W is the work done. Q is the charge and we will come to a unit of potential difference from the name of Alessandro Volta. This unit of potential difference is volt and one volt will get one joule by one coulomb because joule is the SI unit of work done, coulomb is the SI unit of charge. So one joule by one coulomb will get one volt and we, def we can define potential difference is said to be one volt when one joule of work is done to bring one coulomb of charge from infinite point or from the source to that point means when one coulomb of charge is moving from one part to another by doing a work of one joule the potential difference is said to be one volt. Here, potential difference can be measured by an instrument called voltmeter. In case of current, we got ammeter. In case of uh, potential difference, is voltmeter. One more factor which is responsible for flow of current that is called resistance. What we can say the resistance? Whenever part, charge will flow from one part to another, the obstruction they will get, the disturbance they will get, that is resistance. So resistance 
is the obstruction of flow to the flow of current or the disturbance given to the flow of current that is resistance means if disturbance is more less current will flow if obstruction is more less current will flow so that one we can say that with the increase in resistance current decrease if obstruction is more less current flows if obstruction is less more current will flow this resistance having the si unit ohm this ohm came from the scientist named george simon ohm and it will take the relationship between potential difference resistance and current current potential difference and resistance this one given by george simon ohm in his law called ohm's law in that relation we will get r equal to v by i so resistance equal to potential difference by current so this is three term we got one is current one is potential difference and one is resistance it will come to the relationship between all this quantity what we read here and we will get here the relationship between them relationship term when it is used so we will take mathematical formula for first one current i equal to q by t if i equal to q by t that means q equal to i t second v equal to w by q that means w equal to v into q and now only we got that q equal to i t means if q equal to i t then we'll get w in place of q we file substitute w i t then we'll get w equal to v i t this formula is used to find the work done of charge or amount of energy used another one we got v by i equal to r from the ohm's law so if we take v then i into r or for i v by r and this is the relationship between all this quantity what we read now so this one about the fundamental concept of what is charge what is current what is potential difference and resistance but whenever this current with the help of connecting wire will come to our home or that is called household circuit how it will come so let to come to that part supply of current we'll come to the topic supply of current to our home in that first one current produced in a power generating station that may be from water energy in hydro power station from heat energy thermal power station from wind energy in the windmill in nuclear energy nuclear power plants or from solar power plants so when that uh, energy is generated electric energy generated with the help of another device in that it is called it is called transformer transformer work you might have seen the transformer where is the 11000 volt danger so this transformer main work to increase or decrease the voltage so whenever you will see the transformer which is nearby to you it is written danger 11000 volt with red color 11th from that 11000 volt we are getting 220 volt to our home means domestic use or domestic supply time we are getting 220 volt so whenever electric power line is entered to our house it is having three wires or three basic wire required for the wiring one if you look here one is called light wire or phase one is called neutral and third the part wire light or phase wire having the color light brown in new convention or new way of color coding it is a brown color when it come to neutral it is light blue color and r it is green color or yellow color so this is the color coding but when it come to light or phase actually it is having three phase current means three light wire in our main line when it is coming from one transformer to another three light wire one neutral wire one arc wire one one they are using for street light means there are six number six wires mainly connected from one pole to another one transformer to another when it will come to the domestic use when it is coming to the household wiring means our one the consumer we all are the consumer who are using electric current we will get three wire one light wire with the actual flow of current actual path of flow of current what you will charge you will get shock which is in 220 volt or we can say higher potential second is a neutral wire which is used mainly to close the circuit what you can say the return path of current and it is give a close path to the current 
to flow from one part to another from the switch to the bulb you can say or from the main switch to other part you can say and hardware hardware actually used to save our appliance all the appliance used in our domestic circuit in our home this art is used to protect us from two electrical damage one is called overloading one is called short circuit overloading means how much it is having the safe limit from that more current will come that is called overloading when come to short circuit this life and neutral wire handle they will touch to each other that is what we will get the short circuit to protect our appliance from these two art where is used so this one is phase or life wire one is the neutral wire one the art wire so in our home whenever this supply of current will get how much amount of energy we have used during a period of time that can be measured by electric meter this electric meter is used because of which we are paying electric bill after the end of one month or sometime up quarterly also three month and after this meter it is connected to another switch that is called main switch so us let to come to the electric meter this electric meter main work to calculate the amount of energy consumed by the consumer or used by the consumer for a fixed interval of time that may be of one month two month or three month or one year so in that because this all units because electric bill we are getting uh, in terms of unit for unit they are having certain cost so this meter also called kilowatt hour meter the kilowatt hour here you will look kwh meter kilowatt hour meter kilowatt hour is the commercial unit of energy means kilowatt hour kilowatt is the unit of power hour is the time, uh, unit of time so if we take the relationship between commercial unit of energy which is kilowatt hour and si unit of energy which is joule then we'll get here the relation rule 1 kilowatt hour means 1 kilowatt into 1 hour kilo is a prefix used for 1000 so 1000 watt into 1 hour equal to 3600 second so 3600 into 1000 will get 36 with 50 watt second which is joule or if we simplify this we'll get 1 kilowatt hour equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule but how this electric meter is used how we are giving the uh, how we are paying the bill at the end of one month at the first of the month when the person will take the reading that is called initial reading let it be in the january month the person or, or who is appointed by electric department to take the reading from different consumer is got the information that is 1000 kilowatt hour in the month of january or first of january got 1000 kilowatt hour next month again when will come in february one got the reading 1500 kilowatt hour first of january 1000 kilowatt hour first of february 1500 kilowatt hour so here we got two reading one is called final reading it is 1500 kilowatt hour and one is initial reading 1000 kilowatt hour so difference is 500 kilowatt hour and 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 1 unit so we have to pay the bill for this 500 unit for unit they are having certain rate so accordingly we have to pay the electric bill so this is about the topic that what is current what is charge and how we can measure the amount of energy consumed in my next video I discuss about the different components used in a electric circuit or which is used in a domestic circuit like switch, fuse, MCB, and main switch. So, for this, you have to like my video, you have to subscribe my channel. If you have not subscribed till now, please subscribe soon to get some exciting videos of physics. Thank you.